All right, guys, first step is just to log in. We're gonna go to my.siteground.com and type in your account password. So we are gonna make a tutorial about every part of the new SiteGround client area we see here and the new site tools they just launched. And what better place to start than with getting a new domain name from SiteGround? That sounds like a good way to have a productive time today. So we wanna click on websites at the top. Now in my websites, you'll see any domain names you already bought from SiteGround. For example, when you first created your account and wanted to make a website, or you would see domains that you connected to SiteGround from other places like GoDaddy or Namecheap. In our case though, we want to make a completely new domain name, a new website, like a sister website to your existing one. So we're gonna click on add new site or you can do new website. Next hit select under new domain. And we're gonna type in our new domain name which is basically gonna search the entire internet to see if that's available. I'm gonna go with sitegroundtutorial.com and hit enter. From already checking, I'm pleasantly surprised to see that it's still available. So we're gonna go with sitegroundtutorial.com, but you can choose whatever you want and maybe you'd get like .org, .net, or these other extensions you'll see below. Okay, so we wanna click add and then continue. On this screen, we can skip and just create an empty site, so our domain name would be a blank white screen, essentially, or we can choose to set up a new site or maybe move something to this domain name. I already know I wanna use WordPress in the future, so I'll click select under start new website. And then, of course, choose WordPress, select. Now just pop in your email address that you want to receive your new WordPress credentials at, and then type in a good password. And we'll continue. Okay, so as you can see, SiteGround's domain name registrar is really user-friendly. A lot of people just don't know about it. And we're all set now to get the domain. There's a couple extras on this page, like the SD site scanner, which you don't need, but you do need domain privacy. If you don't get domain privacy, when you register your domain, you can start getting spam and all sorts of crazy inquiries from different businesses. So to protect ourselves from that, let's add domain privacy. All right, that made our price increase a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it. So next I'll pay by entering in my credit card and I'm gonna definitely use my credit card. I don't like using a debit card for any online transactions just in case something goes wrong. I'm confident that would happen with SiteGround, but just a good idea to use a credit card always. Okay, I'll check the billing address same as contact address box and next I'll check I confirm that I have read and agreed to their terms of service and privacy policy. Go ahead and glance at those if you feel like it. And now we can click pay now. So as SiteGround is creating your site, I should note I really like SiteGround because at other web hosts it can take 24 hours or even up to 3 days to get your site working, but at SiteGround they'll set you up instantly. Okay, and you are all set. A couple minutes ago you only had one website and now your empire is expanding. Great job. One step I don't want you to forget is in your email inboxes we have to verify our new domain name otherwise it can actually go down. Just click on the verification required email and then scroll down and you're going to want to click on this approve.domainadmin link. And that will tell SiteGround that you are the owner of the domain name and once you click verify information, that's all done. Now back in our SiteGround client area, we can click manage site, which will take us to the cool site tools, which has everything you need to build a successful new website, including this cool monthly stats so you can track your traffic. I used to use this in blogger.com, so really happy to see that SiteGround has now utilized it. And we can check out our new site in a new tab at SiteGround Tutorial. You can expect to see, of course, lots of SiteGround tutorials on this domain name. But if it's not working yet for you, it could be because propagation is going on in the back end. You can grab one of these browser cache deleters if you want. Mine is just created by um, the clear cache shortcut extension for Chrome and that'll help things speed it up usually. So you just click to delete, it says cache cleared. Okay, and if you still don't see your website, I need to change our name servers, and you might need to too. In your site tools here, you could see a notification saying your domain is not pointed to this site. You need to enter in these correct name servers here. These will also be in the your website at SiteGround email, right down here. And so to change, aka update your name servers, 
you need to go back to site tools here you can copy these two down in some location like in a text file and now click go to my account and click services now click domains and under your domain click manage so kind of tricky here this is why I wanted to make sure you all know this step now scroll down and where it says name servers on the right click manage name servers and now you can enter in your name server 1 and your name server 2 so I have those in my text file here and I'm just gonna copy them just copy the first one and then delete and then paste and then for the second one it's just the same thing as the first one but the NS2 instead alright so once those look good you can confirm and that should make sure that your domain goes to the right place which is at SiteGround the reason that was wrong before was because SiteGround name servers are sometimes located at twocows.com and we want to keep them at SiteGround so now when we check out our site I'm confident it will look good and here we are it's a new WordPress installation with the 2019 theme doesn't exactly look good but that's why we're going to learn how to make a complete and beautiful website with a blog at SiteGround. Alright guys, so thanks so much for watching. Let me know any questions you still have in the comments below. No question is too silly or simple, and I'll talk to you soon.